Okay, we're going to continue with our S5K arithmetic series um, uh, solutions and uh, part two of the video. So here we've got questions 2E and 2F, and notice this is not an arithmetic sequence because I have K squared here and I've got K in the power here. It's not going to be an arithmetic sequence. So in order to find the sum, we're going to find out each term. So uh, when uh, k equals 1, then we've got uh, 1 times 1 plus 1, uh, which is going to give me 2. When k equals 2, I'm going to have 2 times 2 plus 1, which is equal to uh, 6. When k equals 3, we've got 3 times 3 plus 1, so 3 times 4 is 12, and so on. U sub 4, U sub 5, U sub 6, U sub 7, okay, and you do the same process and you get 20, 30, 42, and 56. Okay, and if I add all those together, you get 168. Okay, now uh, same thing. If I plug in K, uh, our first term, we plug in 1 in for K. I'm going to have 10 times 2 to the 1 minus 1. That's 10 times 2 to the 0, which is equal to 10. Then I've, for u sub 2, we've got 10 times uh, 2 to the power of 1 which is going to give me 20. For u sub 3, I'm going to get 10 times 2 of the power squared, and we get um, 40. u sub 4, we get 10 times 2, ooh, 2 cubed, which is going to give me 80. u sub 5 is going to be 10 times 2 to the 4th power, which is going to give me 160. You can tell this is not arithmetic. I'm not adding 20 plus 20 plus 20. That's not what's happening. So now we add these all together. 10 plus 20 plus 40 plus 80 plus 160, and we get 310. Okay. Find the sum of the first 17 terms. You're given this information. So I would say u subscript 1 equals 15. d is equal to 15.5 minus 15. So d is equal to 0 0.5. n is equal to 17. So I'm going to plug all of those into uh, the formula. And um, we're going to get these answers. OK. Number two is really similar. We know uh, the first term is 6. We know the common difference uh, is negative 3. Notice it's going down. And we've got 20 terms. Okay, we plug this into the sum formula and we get this. You might hit pause and check your answers. Okay, um, next one. Okay, 
find the sum of the first 30 multiples of 8. So u sub 1 is equal to 8. u sub 2 is equal to 16. u sub 3 is equal to 24. OK, so these are all multiples of 8. u sub 30 is going to be equal to um, 8 times 30. Um, which is uh, 240. And so now I can use that, that um, S sub n equals n over 2 u1 plus un. So we're going to get n is equal to 30. Our first term is 8. Our last term is 240. And then we're going to get 15 times 248. And we get uh, 3,720. OK. Question four. Let's do this one together. Consider this series. Find the number of terms. OK, so we know that u sub 1 equals 52. We know that d, to get to the next term, 62 minus 52, you know that d equals 10, right? And so using the formula, u sub n equals u sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d, uh, let's plug in what we know. And we can figure out, um, we can figure out n. So we know the final term is 462. So I've got 462 equals 52 plus n minus 1 times 10. Okay. So if I subtract 52 on both sides, I got 410 equals n minus 1 times 10. And then if I divide both sides by 10 on both sides, I get 41 equals n minus 1. And I add 1 on both sides, I get n equals 42. OK. Now, and so that's the number of terms for part A. For question B, find the sum of the terms. So let's use the easier formula. Uh, there's 42 terms. So we're going to have 42 over 2. And we've got our first term, which is 52, plus, and our last term, which is 462. Add those together, we get um, 514. 42 divided by 2 is 21. Multiply those together, and we get 10,794. And that's the sum of the first 42 terms. OK, number 5. Write down an expression for s of n in terms of n. OK, so we know u sub 1 equals 1. And we know the common difference, 8 minus 1 is 7. So uh, my formula, my um, expression for the sum is equal to n over 2 times 2 times 1 plus n minus 1 times 7. So once again, we're using this formula here. We know u sub 1 was 1, and we know d was 7. OK. Question B, find the value of n when the sum is this number. So um, basically, what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to type this into the calculator. You're going to press y equals and type this into the calculator. So let's do that now. I still have it in from last time. 
um, x divided by 2. Okay, I need to change this minus 20 here to, to 1. Delete, delete. Oops. Second delete. Insert parentheses. No, that's not what I want. Da, 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 plus. Okay. Now my parentheses are correct. So n divided by 2 plus. Let's just put a 2 there. 2 plus x minus 1 times 4 times 7. Okay, I hope I got the type this in correct. Okay, so now I can do second graph. to get my table. And when we look at our table, we're trying to find when is the sum greater than this value here. So I can go arrow down. Keep going. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And it's equal to it when n equals 40. Okay, number six. Um, in an arithmetic series, S1 is 4, D is negative 3. Write down the expression for the sum. So we have S sub n equals two, n over 2, 2 times 4 plus n minus 1 times negative 3. Once again, we're just using this formula right here. I know our first term is 4, and we know that d is negative 3, and that's how we get this in here. Okay, b. Find the sum when n equals 10. So 10 over 2 times 8 plus 10 minus 1 times negative 3. Put that all into your calculator, and you get s of 10 equals negative 95. Okay, find the smallest n value for which s sub n is less than 250. Once again, I'm going to hit second graph to get a table. Let's type in this equation in here. Okay. x over 2 times 2 times 4, which is 8, plus x minus 1 times negative 3. Second graph. Okay. You know, notice that this is crazy, right? I can do second window so we can start at zero. You notice know, TBL start, I'm going to change that to zero, and then that'll make it so that my table will start at zero. Okay, so we want to find the smallest n value when the sum is less than 250. So here I'm looking at the sum, and it's less than 250 when n equals 15. Okay, you might want to hit rewind to look at questions 5 and 6 again. Um, this is much easier than the way we did it in 2nd and 4th period. Okay. Um, Montserrat is training for her first race. Uh, the first week she does 3 kilometers. The second training she increases to 3.5. Uh, the third week she runs uh, 0.5 more. Okay. Find how many kilometers Montserrat runs in her 10th week of training. Okay, so her 10th week of training, we're going to use the formula u sub n 
equals u sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. We know that d is equal to 0.5. We know u sub 1 is equal to 3. And it's the tenth week of training. Okay, and we simplify this and we get um, u sub 10 is equal to 7.5 kilometers. Okay, question B. Calculate the total kilometers that Montserrat will have run on the 15th week. So first we need to find uh, what the 15th week would be. So we, um, 3 plus 15 minus 1 times 0 0.5. And we know by the 15th week, uh, it'll, she'll have run 10 kilometers. Okay, so now I'm going to find the sum is equal to 15 over 2, uh, 3 plus 10. I'm using this formula here, where I know the first one and the last one, and we know n is equal to 15. The last one, we just figured out was 10. And so we have 7.5 times 13, and we know that it's equal to 97.5 kilometers. OK, question 8. Um, so from here we add the common difference. From here we add the common difference. So to figure out the common difference when I don't know this in between, I've really added d plus d. So I've really added 2d. So 14 minus 5 is equal to 2d, isn't it? Plus d plus d. The difference between 14 and 5 is 2d. So 14 minus 5 gives me 9. 9 equals 2d. Divide by 2, we get d equals 4.5. OK. Question B, find the values of a and b. So um, if I'm adding 4.5, so we know that um, 5 plus 4.5 is going to give me um, 9.5. So you know A equals 9.5. And then 14 plus 4.5 is going to give me 18.5. So we know that B is equal to 18.5. Because to get to the next one, we add 4.5 plus 4.5 plus 4.5. Find the value when the sum is 10. OK, so when the sum is 10, we've got, I'm going to use I'm going to use this formula because we know d, we know the first term, we don't know the tenth term. So I'm going to use this formula right here. So we get 10 over 2 times 2 times 5. Our first term is 5 plus 10 minus 1. And our common difference is 4.5 using that formula. OK, so we get 5 times 10 plus 9 times 4.5. You might want to hit pause for a second, check your work, and then you simplify this and you get 252.5 is the sum of the first 10 terms. OK, find the least value of n where the sum is greater than 500. So I'm going to put into my calculator um,
I'm going to put that into my calculator. x divided by 2 plus ten. Four point five. Okay, is it typed in correctly? I believe so. Okay, so second graph, and we want to find out when and find the least value when n is greater than five hundred. So we're going to keep going till n is greater than five hundred, and it's greater than five hundred when n is. 15. And we can see that from our table when n is 15, it's greater than 500. Okay, last one. Okay, consider the arithmetic series 1, 3, 5, 7, da 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 da. Find the number of terms. So, we know 1, u1 is 1, d is 2, because we keep, we keep adding 2. So uh, we can use this formula to find the number of terms. We know the last number is 61. So we plug in 61 for u n, 1 and for u sub 1. We're trying to find n. We know d is 2. We can simplify this, and we get this. Okay. Uh, now that we know that this is 31, we can put 31 on the top. And this is starting with 1, we're adding 2. Since we keep adding 2, we know our common difference is 2. We can start off here. And since everything is 1 less than multiples of 2, we have to have that minus 1. And then find the value of s. So um, the first term is 1, the last term is 61. We know that n is 31, and we put it in there. I hope this helps clarify things.